All right, so this the open Q&A, Chiefing with the Chief. Coming back, follow up to not a predator, I'm an apex predator preying on other predators. Similar to DOC, but no one can do it better. Right? So, um, I'm going to see if it'll let, um, let's. That's so, um, the shark is a totem animal. It's a aquatic predatory fish like animal. And, um, it got to stay on the go. That's the nature of the shark. Study the shark to know what the dream mean. Yeah, I was trying to take callers on this one, but it's not letting nobody come in. Yeah, when you drop as much receipts as I do, they, they people tend to not like you very much. <laughs> Cardinal carry ancestral messages over the crossroads. When you see Cardinal, can y'all hear me? Yeah, some of y'all saying y'all requested to come into the live in the comments. And it's just, I don't know if it's not sending y'all to, um, okay to come in or what. It's just not coming in. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to go with the comment section because I really don't have nothing to say. I said all I had to say um, on the receipt drop. addiction is treated through a shamanic guided evil gang ceremony where it permanent eliminates the um cellular craving for the substance and you just be done with it I don't know. It won't let nobody come in. Yeah. So, this is a Steve Coakley knock on the Secret Society's Unmask on a unveiling of a fraud in real time. So, uh, when you learn how to read their language, they can't deceive you with their BS. Yeah, uh, y'all, y'all keep requesting to come in, but it ain't letting nobody come in. Yeah, nineteen is a sacred seal. It's a um, it's an Islamic knot off of a um Shriners um. Lodge, the ancient Arabic order, the nobles of the mystic shrine. The seal is 19, right? It's the alpha meets the omega. The beginning comes to an end all in one flip. It ain't letting nobody come in. That's what's up. Muskogee's in Virginia. Look, 
we had a lot of these tribal names was given to us by settlers. Um, like the name Cherokee is not an actual original tribal name, but a, what we call a, a, a catch tribe. All of the ones whose birthright was being stolen and those who were stealing it was grouped together under the category of the Cherokee, which is the cherry tree, which is the heiress, which is the air, the, the earthright, right? So all of it is deception and fraud, but we don't know it because we going along to get along. Yep. I had, yeah, I had did some stuff on the number 19 already. Um, and the, um, MGT GCC <clears throat> was given a dress 19 that was designed by Mother Tanetta Muhammad because it would be the dress garb of the sisters that would be invited to be the closest to Mother Khadija in the, um, ceremony of raising the matriarch because it's a ceremony that come with that. And so they, that ceremony come when all our shit start turning around. So they old system collapsed, then our system come online. We got to get rid of their system before our system activates. We can't activate our system in the middle of their system. You can't have two systems simultaneously running. And this is why in the interim, you need the continuity of government, which is a plan to execute the exchange of power from the legal fiction to the rightful heirs and owners and, um, this is what what's been going on over the last two and a half, three years is that it's been a shuffling behind the scenes of restructuring government. Um, like, for instance, I talked about this before, but the VA is going to be surrendered to or the, the funding for VA is going to be transferred to the Wounded Warrior Project for all of those people that was in the military. And it's going to be more um expansive in their abilities to aid and assist the veterans who fought um in the wars that this animal sent us to war in so you got all these people coming back with limbs missing they need a whole life cut out you can't just give them a check and tell them go ahead on your merry way you got to cut their life out you got to be responsible to take care of them in proper fashion this is why we in the we don't believe in sharing the wealth. I believe in sharing the wealth. I don't believe in hoarding. I'm a hoarder, but I don't believe in hoarding the wealth. I hoard books. I hoard knowledge. You know, that's what my, that's what I hoard. I got books everywhere. I got I got probably more books in this house than most people got in their personal libraries. And I'm telling you, like I I got books, uh, and and most of them I've read. Um, I've lost a lot of books from the transitional phase and, um, certain conditions. A lot of books got damaged beyond, um, beyond usage. So I had to discard a lot of books and, um, but as other than that, oh, no, 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 we're not finna be sitting here because we feel like we entitled to something. And we gonna keep this shit to ourselves. We ain't gonna share the wealth. Yep. So we there is, if you go back to Hannibal's war, you see Hannibal kept a group of priests with him, whose job it was to work with the soldiers after the battles to normalize their energy so that they can not have the thousand yard stare of a, a World War II veteran shell shock out of Koreans or post-traumatic stress disorder for Vietnam and the um, Gulf War veterans. All of those things are treatable with the right understanding of the mechanics of the brain and the mind. The interaction between um, the soldier who go to battle and see the atrocities and how to balance him back into the society. It's a process that they, they never send the boys through the process. They throw them back into the society and they come back home fighting a war that's over with, but in their head, they still at war. And um, that's just like, we naturally form the tribes. The tribes go naturally, the braves, 
the soldiers of the tribes going to naturally become a cohesive unit. They never told y'all gangs was tribes, but y'all never looked it up to find out what they mean when they say gang. But the ga a gang is a tribe. They call them a gang so they can demonize the term so that it demonize the people that they tag with the term and y'all fall for it. Right? So, um, yeah. VL, Almighty Vice Lord Nation, yep. Yeah. A, a, lot of, a lot of people feel entitled and feel like it's still some, even if you, even if you owe something, sometimes you have to Get up off your ass and go across town and get what you owe. You you have to do something. Yep. All of those tribes. Look, I'm going to show y'all. See, you know, I like to drop results because they be thinking Rod don't know what he's talking about. So when we go to Google, type in game. I got some KKK receipts to drop too. It won't even let me flip my camera. So, right here we got the word gang. Right? The first meaning group, such as a group of person working to unlawful or antisocial ends, especially being an antisocial adolescent. B, a group of persons working together. Two, a group of persons having informal and un and usually close social relations. That's a tribe. Three, a set of articles, an outfit. B, a combination of similar implements and devices. Right? Um... So, anytime... A group of people can, um, let me see this. I got, I got a better one. Now, this say, tribe versus gang, what is the difference? The fact that they have to, that that's a common question. Let's see what they say. <laughs> they say, as nouns, the difference between tribe and gang is that tribe is socially, ethnically, and politically cohesive group of people, while gang is, go is a going journey, a course, path, track. As verbs, the difference between tribe and gang is the tribe is to distrib distribute into tribes or classes to categorize while gang is to go, walk, proceed. So the only difference is the context in which they used, right? So they villainized the term. And then they tell y'all that the gang is, they don't belong here. The law of nature say that all tribes is going to naturally draw back together. No matter what you do, it's in the DNA. We still happen to be the close of the age. Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to study John Keeley. I'm not sure it is. Oh, let 
No, I'm not familiar with him. I've seen one of his books because I'll be trying to see everything that has something to do with monkey. He got one called Monkey's Paw. I think I've seen that. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not familiar with it, with the rest of his works. I don't even think I knew that that was the author of the book when I seen the cover before. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, Yeah, Asherah is a variation of uh, uh, Ashtar. In different cultures, certain letters that wasn't commonly expressed in the linguistics. Like a lot of the click languages have sounds that's not part of non-click languages, but the people that speak them know what they mean. Yep. The... Uh, a couple people sent me um uh pictures of the red star that they found in the sky um yep and that's scared equals sacred that's why they use fear to keep everything they saw to empower you they use fear to keep you from studying it because no matter how dark or how light it is if you understand how it works you can use it to liberate yourself I've been trying to take people in. It's not letting y'all in. <coughs> I got four people lined up <coughs> that I asked to come in. And then nobody came in. I'm going to take these out. And then we'll try to add some more. Sooner or later, it might let somebody in here if I keep trying, huh? You got to go back, Buddha Omnipresence, and watch the other video I just got done doing because you came in and asked the questions that I addressed in the last video. So I already dealt with that. <clears throat> when you be flying in your dreams... Because it's showing you that it's all mental, right? And the awareness, you're not dreaming if you're flying in it. If you're flying in it, you're in the astrals, right? You got to learn how to be able to think in the dream. So while you're flying, you have to determine where you want to go in your mind's eye. And it'll project you there and you'll zoom there. That's that scene in the Matrix when um Trinity got shot and Neo was flying at damn near the speed of light trying to get to her to save her, right? So it's the same thing, but it's, it's astral, which is navigating the different level of the matrix in order to get the information you're going to get. So you learn that and by giving yourself mantras to go, when you get in that state, you condition yourself. Smoking is a uh, cyclic. You have to be able to control it in order for it not to have control over you. So you got to be able to quit when you want to and smoke when you want to. A lot of people going to be doing more flying in their dreams because you start to wake up in this in this simulator that we in. We all starting to wake up as we wake up. Uh, our dreams reflect that by showing us doing Stuff like flying, walking on water, breathing underwater, all of those kinds of things. And, and your zodiac sign will tell you what you're most likely to experience under those conditions. 
Yeah, the the last the video I just got done ending because it went to nobody in before I started this one. The that was the um coup de gras to the Scottish Rite, um to the house of Stuart, the Tudors who um masqueraded as the people over here. They don't belong over here, they not us. I told you they look like us, but they not us. And every motherfucker that look like us ain't us. A lot of these people doing stuff and they don't want you to know the dirt they doing and they hiding right next to us. Trying to get us off the path. We the ones they want to go astray. So June 1st is the banking deadline. Um, there's a couple more things going on in June as well. Um, yeah. Well, shit, a lot of the food that we eat now, it don't, it don't have the right flavor. Like we think we eating chocolate. That shit, that, that's, that's, that's the byproduct of the real chocolate tastes so goddamn good that you probably wouldn't even like the stuff we call chocolate no more. Um, same with beer. Like that, all of these old fancy beers don't taste better than that shit they was brewing a 5,000 years ago. Back then, beer was sweeter and it was um, a more aromatic scent to it. Coffee even different. So I I remember the taste of this stuff. So I, I, I'd be like fucked up when I'd be eating certain shit and it don't taste like it's supposed to taste. And I know the difference. <laughs> so when you see an old... Right now, you're looking for red iron oxide. It's been coming in in what we call uh, um, cloud bursts, which is like a single cloud. So it'll cover the sky in China one day. Then you won't see it for six, seven months. Then it'll cover the sky in, um, L in California. Then you won't see it. Then it's covered the sky somewhere else. That's just cloud spatter of the red iron oxide but the when it comes in and the whole sky red everywhere that's when the the that's when it's like close as this can, it can possibly get but this time the trajectory is switched so it doesn't pull us off our axis this time energetically the axis will flip but literally physically it won't be a axis flip it'll be an energetic flip <coughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're using a lot of chemicals in the food. This is this is why food in the city don't taste like food in the country. Right? We go buy chicken and whatever we buy from the store, grocery store, go cook it at home. It'd be good. But when we go to, um, down south to our auntie house or our big mama house or our grandmama house or our uncle house and they cook, they cook it what they're getting out the field. That's a whole different, it's a whole different taste in the food. Fresh food is way different than food that's being, um, kept from spoiling with chemical, uh, preservatives. Those preservatives, is the actual cause of 98% of the health problems we have, not the shit we eating, including the pork. Pork not good for you, right? But pork, um, some clans have adjusted to eating the wild boar, uh, especially down in Arkansas where they used to have razorback hunting um, um, parties for a long time. They had That's why they uh, 
in Mississippi, they got what they call a cattle hula hound. And um, they used to be dogs that was catch dogs. A catch dog is a dog that they use to grab the board and hold it until the a hunter get, get, get up on it to kill it. And they normally send like four, five hounds and a catch dog. And the catch dog have on thick uh, leather like a war dog. And that's where all of those things, those things go all the way back to the war dogs um, of Rome and war dogs of Assyria and war dogs of Africa and war dogs of India. The dog men had whole contingents of dogs. I mean, one guy can control 50 dogs by controlling the leader of their pack, right? So we don't know nothing about um, the ancient dog trainers, but yeah, the Dogo Argentino was bred by Argentinian men trying to replicate an ancient breed that used to be there um, that he he knew about. And so he started doing a breeding program because, and them some bad, them some bad mofos. Oh, them was the royal families. The royal families in Europe was the only ones who could afford wine because they kept everybody else poor. That's the same thing they tried to do to us. Can Mississippi, that's my daddy hometown. The, yeah, the, the collective conscious depressed everywhere. Somebody had to be the spark. Somebody had to had to had to um, stick their fingers in the culture and, and and make them start waking up. Right, they gonna have to wait for the shock and awe if they don't wake up soon. And the shock and awe, they gonna be able to move. They are gonna be wondering why they ain't got no money. Because everybody think that money's so goddamn important until they ain't got it no more. They're going to learn how to barter and trade. Well, I don't know if y'all created if they created all whiskey in Louisville, but the, the different forms of um, distilled liquor from this land, primarily corn liquor, right? Because corn was from over here. So when you see corn overseas somewhere, that means that they had an American influence. <laughs> you remind me of uh, Life Lessons by um, Caden. You're going to both have black eyes and rainy days, and I'm good with that. I'm landing out Life Lessons. <laughs> <clears throat> the Bohemians, or those from Bahamas, have a very rich culture and um all of the islands used to be our resorts. We used to go and visit those places. And when we visit those places, everybody came bearing gifts for the local big mamas. And they don't do that no more. They're not honoring the culture, which is making the culture rebel against the people. <coughs> <coughs> and the culture uses us to re rebel against other people. We the we the uh immune system of the planet. We the antibiotic, the antibodies. Right? We the ones that got to clean up the bullshit and that's what we doing. You know. So um <clears throat> When the new system come online, I don't think we're going to even need passports. <sighs> oh, are we, not, we, we might have uh, some countries might require you to have a physical, make sure you're not carrying an infectious disease. But other than that, I don't think we're going to have passports. We might have an international uh, driver's license which will require you to learn how to drive on both the left and right sides of the road because in foreign places they drive on the opposite side of the road and a lot of us will find it difficult to adjust to that driving from the passenger seat but to them it's normal Uh, 
um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a live with Chief Warhorse unless I go down to her studio because uh, she want to build up her her platform so she can get y'all this these receipts, which is more important than me doing the live with her is for y'all to go over there and see those receipts that she putting out about the maps, the treaties, all that shit. Cause you can see, you need to see, she going to explain to you the same thing I did, how they basically paper genocided us on the trail of tears. But because she had been doing the work, I had to make mention so that the people that be listening to what I be saying, see other people that's doing similar work. So I sent them to the people that's doing the work. It's a sister. I, I uh, I need to find, she's a Moorish um, sister and she's been teaching um, civics and she can explain the entirety, the entire layout of the fraud, but she doesn't know how to use it to her advantage apparently because they tried to um, charge her with <clears throat> some, some bullshit court. So she says she was going there to test a jurisdiction, but I haven't heard of anything from her since. And I'm wondering if they ain't kidnapped the sister or something. Cause uh she been she not the type that be quiet unless she got a reason to be quiet. She need a reason to be quiet, like she need a reason to talk. And she had a valid reason to talk, so the only way she'll shut up is two reasons. Somebody interfered or she fell back because she had did what she needed to get done. So the whole fraud, she 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 can just explain the entire um, judicial system and how it's wrong on the land. But that's because it's an admiralty system for enforcing the um, high crimes and misdemeanors of the high seas. It has nothing to do with the law of the land. The law of the land is what we call matriarchal orders. The admiralty law is patriarchal because the captains of the ships was normally men and they normally had a cast full of men. So they was under a, a patriarchal designation as the uh, vicarious kings of the sea. And they call them Vikings or via kings. And then you have those who um, was from other ships then you have a standard ranking system that we call a naval ranking system. The naval ranking system, yep, that's her. Um, Renita Valera Elbe. I think her name was Renita or something like that. <clears throat> they, they tried to, they said she uh, used a, a, a bad credit card and rented a car for three years on a bad credit card. The thing that stuck out to me is you're not going to get a car with a bad credit card out the gate. The car, the car got to come back valid in order for you to leave with them people's stuff. So that's the first thing that stuck out to me. Yes, I know who Russell J. Gould is. Uh, he a cold flipper. He a CIA cold flipper. <coughs> Yeah, so the fifth dimensional chess game is played in in higher dimensional format, and you got different games in fifth dimensional chess. This is just the banking game we playing now by dealing with the um, inherited birthright to uh, inherit the wealth on the mother line that was usurped by the um, tutors of the royal families of Europe, the black nobility as the, um, um, conquistadors when <clears throat> they was with Spain. They had different names when they was with the French. You got to remember, they all worked together. The French, the English, the Dutch, the Portuguese, and the Spanish, and the Italians. The Italians are, is two types of Italians. And if you notice, they'll call some Sicilian and then they'll call some of them Neapolitan. 
All of those got reasons. Y'all could do your research to find out why it is, but certain ones, the the ones who um weren't classified as Neapolitans, when they got over here, they was called niggas. And that's what they was called. And they was said they was less than animals and all that shit. But the ones they call Neapolitan, now these are the ones who uh, make up your upper echelon or upper Italian area where they come from. Um, <clears throat> and they're supposed to be under the rule of Napoleon. So the um, French lost. So they sold the protectorate agreement for the Louisiana territory to the English. When they did that, they built Georgia to put a buffer zone between the warring tribes and the French, where the French got ran out of the Americas. They lost two major conflicts that ended they, um, they war journey over here. They lost the Chief Pontiac at Fort Detroit, but they'll tell you they didn't. <clears throat> but if you ever if you study Bloody River, I mean Bloody Run, Chief Pontiac, and you study read some of the old texts from closer to the time frame, they tell you about the mythical wolves that came out of the dark on Bell Island and sacked the um, Fort Detroit from the rear when Chief Pontiac came across the bridge from the front. So they don't tell y'all the whole story on a, on our victories. But all of our losses are exaggerated and embellished to make us look like that they just came over here and found some savages that didn't know nothing about warfare. We knew about warfare, but we didn't fight war among ourselves because we brought we taught peace among the tribes, right? But when the foreigners came, they started taking over tribes by taking a leadership position and compelling people to attack people for no apparent reason, right? They came as the vampires and we were as the werewolves. They call us lichen because we look like kin, but we ain't kin. That's why we just like kin. So <clears throat> they vampires, we werewolves, right? So yeah, that whole term, turncoat, that come from when they, with us, they wear one coat. When they with them, they wear another coat. Yeah. So when they talk about the <clears throat> the Confederate Great Army, those were the white coats who got dirty. All this shit is ridiculous. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Well, a lot of us fought um, like we don't know that in the beginning, almost all of the clan was was melanated like me they was they, they called them the black hand down south and then they were duplicated in europe see every time we came up with something to identify the enemy over here they duplicated it in europe and then when they tried to usurp a family over here if we have a girl named cheryl they'll have a son named shirley right and then they'll change their last name if our name is Gunther, they'll change their last name to Gunther. So Shirley Gunther is really an imposter coming to steal Shirley Gunther's birthright. And by trying to insert a patriarch in the matriarchal seat, that's why we say it's drag queens running rogue across the land. Because they rogue because they rouge. And rouge is the red. And that's the Moulin Rouge off of a French um, invasion. And the Moulin Rouge led to the Rouge River, and the Rouge River is the Red River, and the Rouge River is in Detroit, and Detroit means straight. So all these things is Masonically coded to mislead us and drive us off the trail, right? <clears throat> so um, stick to the guns. I was just trying to educate people. I'm just sitting there dropping free information, and then people will attack me. That tell you the quality and character that they deal with because they don't attack the receipts. They attack the individual dropping the receipts. 